what was it like doing the program hunting Hitler? Because I've watched a couple of episodes of it and watched so many little clippers and stuff like that, and that must have been some incest and stuff right there. Man, it was so fun. Um, the it was wild. I was I was doing kind of active military overseas operations, and I was still fighting. And uh, my phone rings, and this production company says, "Hey." Tim, um, we're looking for somebody that can fly a drone. Can you fly a drone? I was like, yes, sir, I can. Um, do you know how to use ground penetrating radar? I was like, yeah, that's, we, we used it all throughout Afghanistan to, to hunt, hunt the Taliban. Like, okay, that's good. That's good. Do you speak Spanish? I was like, yeah, por supuesto. You know, I traveled to South America about half a dozen times now. And they're like, um, okay, have you ever hunted people? I was like, just my entire adult life. This is literally all that we've ever done. That's my is, job. hunted Al Qaeda and the Taliban. And uh, like, fantastic. What we'd like you to do is hunt Nazis. Can you do that? And the hardest part of all of this was hiding my erection because I was so freaking <laughs> excited that I, like, they are asking me to go and hunt Nazis. I was, uh, so, I was beyond pumped. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a shout that was. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But, um, I've had a look into some of stuff like that, eh? like the, what was his name? Joseph Mangle and stuff like that. I seen you doing the uh, little bits on him because his body actually got found in the end, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Evil bastard. I mean, like, so yeah. J- Joseph Mangle, the one of the most evil humans to ever walk the face of the planet. He would t- he would take needles with blue ink in them and he would inject them into Jews' eyes to see if they, he could change the eye color to blue. He would torture twins. He was called the Angel of Death. He would go to these the yeah, concentration camps and he would torture family members to see if other family members could feel the pain. He wanted to see where thresholds of pain was, how fast you could recover from burns, chemical burns, um, you know, just such an evil dude. And this guy escapes the Nuremberg trials. He makes it to South America and he dies of old age. I, I physically held his marriage certificate in my hand. I physically went to the houses that he lived in. I, I talked to his descendants, you know, like the, one of the most evil humans to walk the face of the planet. Like there are still ripples of, of the influence that he had. And, uh, man, I just want to wipe those ideas off the face of the planet and uh and you know any any bit of of those those homicidal maniacs those freaking psychopaths i want to find them and bury them and and their ideas the whole world would like to as well to be honest one funny thing from it though when some i've seen a clip of someone speaking to you about it and they get detained here and go did you find hitler then yeah (laughs) that made me laugh to be (laughs) honest that really made me laugh (laughs) Yeah, I, oh. for me to like be confident, you know, obviously the show is called Hunting Hitler and, and we historically tried to show how Nazis got out, how Nazis escaped, how maybe um, Hitler got out, you know, in the, um, in the end, the one thing that I know for certain is that his ideas got out and those are the things that we still have to be so diligent to squash and to erase off the, and to, to eradicate off the face of the planet. Yeah, exactly. Couldn't have put it better myself, to be honest. <laughs> 